Welcome students. Today we'll talk about the basic principles of hereditary. Now what is hereditary? It is related to genetics. Now when a gene from one generation passes on to the next generation, we say that it is hereditary. So how hereditary is related to genetics? This is the basic first class for genetics. Now before entering to the world of heredity or genetics, we must first know who is the father of genetics. Now the father of genetics is Gregor Mendel. Now we have father of genetics, his experimental model. This is a plant. Now when we study about in this plant, he found seven characters and all these seven characters were contrasting. Contrasting means they are just opposite of each other. If one is white, then another will be definitely black. So what are the seven characters? The first character is the plant height. It is plant height. Now what did he find? He find that this plant is of two varieties. One it is tall. Another variety is dropped. Drop means which has a very lower height. So plant height is of two types, tall and dropped. Second variety was the flower. The position of the flower. Where the flower is. The flower is presented in two points. One is axial, another is terminal. There are two points, one is axial, another is terminal. Next is the pod. What is pod? In pea plant, we have a fruit that is known as pod. Now what is this? This pod is the fruit what the pea plant have. If it, this is a pea pod, then first is pod color. What is the color of this pod? It is of two varieties, yellow and green. There are two contrasting char characters. Yellow and green. Next is the pod shape. What is it? How does this pod look like? That is the pod shape. When we talk about the pod shape, it is again of two characters. One is inflated and second is constricted. So inflated means it will look like this and constricted means it will have some constriction at each seeds. Now if you open this you will find that there are some seed inside it that is the pea seeds. So the next character is the seed. Now in seed there are three characters. First is seed Shape. What is the shape of the seed? Now the shape of the seed is round or wrinkled.
This is shape. Next is seed color. Seed color. See, and the seed color means the color of the endosperm. It will be yellow and green. Next is the seed coat. We talk about the seed coat. Now how where it is present? If this is the seed, then a single layer that is transparent layer present above the seed is the seed coat. Now this seed coat has two colors. One is gray, another is white. So these are the seven contrasting characters which Mendel found in a pea plant. And when he did the experiments on this, he found that all the characters have its own identity and they travel or they move from one generation to another in a definite pattern. So these are only the seven characters. After this, we will look at some of the terms which is important to study the genetics. The first term which we deal with is gene. Now what is a gene? Gene is a set present or a sequence of DNA which encode for a specific character. This is gene. The second word which I would like to explain is LE. Now what is this LE? Now every gene has again two contrasting characters and this contrasting characters are known as alleles. Now this alleles are related to G. Now next we talk about locus. Locus is the point in DNA where the genes are located. Suppose if I say this is a double stranded DNA and in this position suppose this is a double stranded DNA and one gene is present here, another gene is present here. So this position where the genes is present, suppose this is a gene of plant height. So both the points, there is a specific gene that is of plant height. And means this point can be coded for a tall plant, this plant, this point can be coded for a Drop plant. So it is mentioned capital T and small t. I will go why I have mentioned here capital T and why I have mentioned here small t. The third word that is locus means these position are known as locus. So locus is a point where the gene is located in the DNA. So this is locus. The next term is genotype. What is the genetic constituent of the gene? That is genotype. Next term is phenotype which explain the characteristic property of the gene. Now when we talk about genotype and phenotype, now I have told you that one, that we have seven contrasting characters. But in the, all the contrasting character, there is one dominant and another recessive. As the word suggests, dominant means wherever it is present, it will express itself. Whereas recessive means in absence of any dominancy, they can express. If one is the, um, if in an Indian team, the captain is the overall in charge. So that is dominant. In absence of the captain, vice captain do the in charge. That is recessiveness. So in 
dominant whatever gene is dominant that is written in capital alphabets whereas for recessive we write it as small letters so if it is capital alphabet it means it is dominant character and if it is written in a recessive form then it should be written in with the small letters Now here I have written capital T and capital T. It means I am denoting both the L's. Now if both the L's are mentioned with capital capital, means both are same. If I have mentioned with both with small small, then both are same. But there are chances where I write it one capital and one small. so there are two conditions which we have to study one is known as homozygous homo means same so capital t capital t means both alleles having same character is homozygous it can be either dominant or it can be either recessive next is heterozygous what is heterozygous means both the alleles are of different allelic form means one is dominant and other is recessive that comes under heterozygous form next we move with if we are talking about a single character then it is termed as monohybrid if we are talking about two characters then it is dihybrid and if it is three characters then it is trihybrid now when it is monohybrid means we are talking about single single character that is let it be a a or it can be A A or small A small A. The second variety is dihybrid. Here we are. We should talk about two characters. Let the characters be A and B. So it can be this way. It can be this way, or it can be this way. there are dihybrids means two one is a another is b similarly for trihybrid it can be a a b b c c so there are three characters and we can make the remaining varieties with the smallest the recessive character will be a a b b and c c clear so we have g we have alleles we have locus we have genotype we which the this constituent is genotype and if uh, let's suppose this constituent it is a genotype capital a capital a is a genotype now if this genetic constituent code for white flower then this white flower is the phenotype this is the genotype where white flower is the phenotype rest when we'll like in the next series or next class we'll deal with the next case or next upliftment from this basic genetics hope you have understood if you want to ask any questions you can do it in the comment section